my dad harping, like putting a ball in my hands ever since I was born. That kind of that kind of put me in the direction of sports, obviously. And then on an, I mean, on the field, on the court, it's just he was always sports, sports, sports. But then right when uh, I wasn't on the field or on the court, he was just back to just being a regular dad. I have four brothers and three sisters. Being the youngest of seven, I think, oh, growing up, I always had to fight for what I wanted and just being being the last to get everything. And I actually only grew up with two of my brothers. And then every summer, we would always find holidays, or Christmas, we would always find holidays to go see the rest of my family and stuff, and that was always fun. And even when, whenever I saw them, we just picked back up where we left off last. Actually, I was born and raised in uh, Clearwater, and then Largo is a five, 10 minute drive, maybe if that, right across the street. High school, actually, my freshman, year, my freshman year and my eighth grade year, I didn't even play football. I thought I was gonna be a basketball player. And then I transferred to Largo High School my sophomore year, and I actually played fullback. I actually played fullback and middle linebacker and only had two catches, I think, my junior, I meant my sophomore year. And then going into my junior year, they moved me back out to like slot and tight end, kind of. And I still played middle linebacker, but I went from two catches to leading the team in receiving yards and receptions. I think what helped me most pick South Dakota was uh, Coach O building a strong relationship with us, me and my family. And then uh, Randy Baker and Marcello Judge actually came on my visit with me together. And then we kind of made a pack. If one of us commits, let's all, let's all try to come in, change the culture here and try to do, do really good in these upcoming years. I think, I think him being here with me is, is a big is a big thing because I, I can rely on him if I if I'm feeling homesick or like even like if if I do feel homesick I talk to my parents every day no matter what I was actually uh, scared when I first arrived on campus because I didn't know how the workouts were going to be if I was going to have enough time to do this and do that and then I think I think uh, us working out with the new the older guys when we first got here and they kind of took us under our ring really easy and then that that really helped a lot because it just felt like a family, like a whole another family once I got here. After uh, getting here and then going through all these years, I kind of understand how it is. Like you're scared when you first get here, like you don't have your parents and stuff. So I mean, I still talk to a lot of the freshmen, like even if they're not from anywhere where I'm from. And then Cam Tisdale actually is from my high school too. So that built a good relationship. And then him getting to know the other freshmen and then meet him introducing me to the rest of them and see him at workouts, that kind of helped a lot too. I kind of just make him, try to make it feel like if y'all ever need anything, just come to me. My, Because my freshman year, I started the last season of the game against uh, NDSU. And then people started talking to me around camp. It's like, oh yeah, you're Dakari Allen because I have my long hair and stuff. And then I dyed it blonde, so everybody was seeing my hair. And then once the spring game thing happened, everybody was like, you're that kid from the from the spring game. You made that catch, and I'm like, yeah, that was me. But I try to I, I try to be humble about it and not try to bring it up to everybody and stuff. But that was that was a really fun experience. I think the fondest memories uh, playing in front of uh, a lot of people at K State. That was a that was a good uh, good experience. That was a big big arena that I haven't played in that much. And um, I would say just gelling with the team a lot, like in practice off the field, like whenever, like, whenever I see the dudes, cause there, there's not really like a click on the team. Like you'll see wide receivers hanging out with like D linemen, O linemen, the DBs hanging out with like the, the quarterbacks and stuff like that. It's just a lot of team chemistry goes on. And I think that's, that, that builds a lot in the fall and during like fall camp. And I think that's probably one of my favorite things. One thing I love about the University of South Dakota, I would say campus life. Campus life is really fun. And like, as far as like D-Days and stuff too, like just seeing everybody just having fun during that whole entire week and then everybody being at the game and then just the atmosphere maybe at the games as well.